investigators say one man is responsible for a trail of killings in three states, including the Carolinas. Alfred Logan Jr. is already facing prison for one murder with charges pending for three more. One top prosecutor makes it clear, calling Logan a, quote, clear threat. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks looks into the list of his alleged crimes. Someone found 29-year-old Jacob Bazaar dead in his room at the sleep-in in Fort Mill. That was December 8, 2021. Two years later, Alfred Logan Jr. is accused in that death, facing charges for two more deaths and a prison sentence for a fourth. Alfred Lewis Logan Jr. has been accused of murder four times across three different states. Wednesday, he pled guilty to second-degree murder in the death of Kedrick Tavon Green. Authorities say Logan's crime started in Arden, North Carolina in November 2021. That's when Green was found dead inside his car after being shot. One month later, investigators connected Logan to 29-year-old Jacob Azar's overdose death at this sleep-in in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Logan and his girlfriend at the time, Lindsay Nicole Calton, left the hotel and made their way to Birmingham, Alabama. Eight hours after Azar was found dead in South Carolina, the Irondale Police Department outside of Birmingham say a 64-year-old man was shot multiple times during attempted carjacking. Both Logan and Calton were named as suspects and arrested for that murder. He's also connected to a homicide in Wake County, but authorities are unclear of when the homicide happened. Logan was already sentenced to 30 to 37 years for the Arden shooting death. The other cases will be tried in future months. York County investigators say they have an active arrest warrant for Logan, but there's no timetable for when he'll be returned to South Carolina to face the murder charge. For now, reporting in York County, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.